Simmons, founder and CEO of You're the Book Press and editor-in-chief of Self Pub Magazine, here in the studio today with cash money, our pit bull of the day. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's tired on the job. And author Jill Perry Carpenter. Welcome, Jill. Thank you. Thank How you for you? having me, Jeannie. Thanks for coming up to join us in the studio. My pleasure. Uh, we're used to feline cameos, so this is a special <laughs> treat for viewers today. I don't know. He may be too low. We're, we're trying this out today. Tell us a little bit about your book, The Street Dog. I have thought since, honestly, the age of 17, which I think is the age at which I read The Giving Tree, oh. yeah, that there was a children's book in me somewhere. Um, I've always been artistic, drawing, sculpting, doing stained glass. So I always knew there was the possibility, but it took until I was 49 years old and uh, was inspired by adopting this pit bull from an animal shelter uh, to come up with the idea and the plot line for the story. I was walking through uh, Tilton Park near my house and it just honestly came to me out of the blue. Like this, very quickly, I can write a children's book. It's going to be about a group of homeless dogs. I knew what the characters would be like as I kept walking. Um, I knew the main character, of course, would be a pit bull because I want to champion their cause as well. And by the end of the walk, I was ready to go home and write the manuscript. Fabulous. So that came right together for you. Did you do the images yourself? The illustrations? The illustrations? Yes, I did. Uh, much to the chagrin of my editor, <laughs> who coached me against it. And she's coming from a good place. Um, big name publishers have their own illustrators. They do. And if one of your conditions is love me, love my illustrations, mm -hmm. they'll pass you over. And she said to me, "If hypothetically, if Random House came to you and offered you a five book deal, would you be willing to turn it down because you want to use your illustrations? So she said, don't answer me now. But. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew I really wouldn't feel it was my project unless I did my own illustrations. Oh, well, I'm just proud of you for going forward with that decision. Thank you. I think it's so important to get your story out into the world. I do too. I really am, am pleased with that. Where can our viewers find your book? The book can be found um, on our website, which is www.waltthestreetdog.com. I know the book is called The Street Dog. You'll find out the Walt part towards the end of the book. <laughs> But the entire series will be the Walt the Street Dog series. Um, you can order it from there. I have it at a special price. And uh, we can get it out to you like this. We're a two-woman company, <laughs> so I run to the <laughs> post office very often. <laughs> There's no handling charge or anything like that. Uh, I, I get it to the post office very quickly. And if you order it on the site, there is a space for you to leave wording if you want a message on there, if you want to dedicate it to anyone, I'd be more than happy to personally inscribe it for you and of course sign the data. Well thank you so much for joining us today. What a great service. Thank you.